Today I want to make a video on how to record sound from your laptop's internal mic as well as capture sound from the computer itself. I had a need to do this because I wanted to make music tutorial videos using the internal mic on my new MacBook but also capture the sound from Studio One so that I could demonstrate the music that the application that I was trying to, to show. So it wasn't super easy to do this out of the box. Uh, the MacBook doesn't allow you to just capture sound from the computer and the internal mic and have that all captured in a screen recording in QuickTime. So I learned how to do that. And so I figured I would just sh make a quick video demonstrating that. So the first thing that you'll want to do in order to make this happen is download this program called Black Hole. Black Hole is basically a, an application that allows you to aggregate sound sources from applications to other applications. I'll link to this URL in the video description below. If you go to this site, there is basically easy installation instructions here, and it is very easy. I basically just followed these instructions and it, it installed properly. Um, just make sure you restart your computer, like it says here. If you don't restart your computer, this won't work. Once you have this application installed on your machine, you then go to your audio MIDI, MIDI setup on the MacBook. And what you want to do here is you want to create two things. You want to create an aggregate device for inputs. And you do that by clicking this plus sign, create new aggregate device. And then you can name it wherever you want. I just, I just called it aggr aggregate device. And you want to select, once you have this created, you want to select check these check boxes next to the, to the black hole application and whatever mic source that you want. For me, I wanted to use the internal mic, so I grabbed this mic, the MacBook uh, microphone. Uh, I read online that you have to have drift, con drift correction put on the black hole. I don't know what that means. I just did it and it's working. Uh, I set my clock source to the MacBook Pro microphone. Again, I'm not sure why that's necessary, but that was what it was said, that it said to do online, so I did it and that's working. And then you want to create a multi-output device. Here, I did this uh, because I wanted to be able to hear the sounds from Studio One in my headphones while I was talking and trying to demonstrate. So this multi-output device basically aggregates the black hole sound uh, application and whatever other uh, you know output that you want. In my case, it's the headphones. And then you right click on this and you set it to, or you click on it, you right click on it and you set to um, use this use this device for sound output. It's grayed out for me now because it already is the output. And that's all you need to do there. Then here's here's something that tripped me up. I, I, I still couldn't get it to work and I couldn't figure out why. And then I realized I needed to go into Studio One. I was getting the microphone to work, but I couldn't get the sound. And I could get the sound from like YouTube videos to work and other applications, but not Studio One. And then I realized I had to go into the audio setup in Studio One and actually select my playback device as that multi-output device that I configured in the MIDI output, uh, in the uh, audio devices here. So once I set that, then, then things started working. The next step is if you go to QuickTime and you right click on QuickTime, and I can't do it now because I'm, I'm recording this video, but you, you want to right click on it. And you want to choose your sound source as this aggregate device. So the input coming into QuickTime has to be this aggregate device. And then you can see, you can hear my voice. And now you see, you should be able to hear Studio One if I just hit play. And that's it, it's that simple. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, like I said, the only thing I couldn't show is is how you you set these options here because I'm actually recording in QuickTime right now.